Hello everybody, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're taking a look at Belle, Rapunzel, and Pocahontas. Now these are new comic book inspired figurines released by Hasbro only at Target. The retail price for these princesses is $9.99 for each. They also made a magic carpet ride of Aladdin and Jasmine, which is $19.99. And they made Ariel and Friends, which is $29.99. And I do have reviews for those up, so make sure that you go and check them out. Anyways, I really love these. I'm so happy that they made them. They're super awesome. And that's all. Let's get started with this review. Before I show you the boxes, I wanted to give you a quick visual on how big these figurines are. As you can see here, placed next to a Funko Pop, the boxes are way bigger, but so is the figurine. I would say they're about five inches tall. Now, each box is designed a little bit different. They're all very, very cool, of course. Right here, we have Princess Rapunzel, and it says ages three and up, Pulsable Comic Collection, and the whole theme of comic book is going on through the box. Here we have a picture of Rapunzel, super excited, and it says only at Target. On the side, we have the other characters in the collection, Pocahontas and Belle. There we see Belle, super cute. And on the other side, we have Rapunzel again. And little stars and pop, and it's just very comic book inspired. In the back, we have uh, actual comic strips from the comics. There we have Rapunzel. And you can go ahead and pause if you like to read them. They're really cute. And here we have a picture of the books, um, the comic books that will also be available at Target. I haven't found them yet, but they should be there soon. And they actually are up for pre-order on their website. On the bottom, it says it includes the figure and the base, and it's made by Hasbro again. And there she is. Now, when it comes to the other um, boxes, it's pretty much the entire same design on the sides. It's the same thing, except for the front picture, which, of course, this time it's Pocahontas. She looks beautiful. I love, um, I love her in comic book style as well. On the back, we have uh, little pieces of the comic strips for Pocahontas. Disney Princess Pocahontas and her hair is in the wind. Realistically, it's on her face. <laughs> and again, um, it tells you about the comics that are available at Target. Now for Belle, it's pretty much the same, same thing. The box is all the same all around. It says Belle, Postable Comic Collection, and we have a picture of Belle with her book. <laughs> Super cute. And then, of course, uh, same design. And when you turn it around, you have comic strips of Belle. And in this one, she's wearing her pink dress. So that's really cute that they, they did that. I hope we get one in her pink dress in the future. I would love that. And I forgot to show you the top of the box, which is Ariel. And now let's get them right out of the box. First up, we have Princess Rapunzel, and she looks super cool with an amazing pose. Um, that's the stand. I'll show you that in a minute. But yeah, basically her face is super accurate to the comics. She's giving you kind of a smirk look. She looks amazing. I love this. And they actually gave her her big braid, which is super cool that they did that. And I don't know how they managed to put this together, but her face is actually able to move pretty much to every side. And even though she has the braid, <laughs> I'm sure this uh, this was probably the hardest one to design for Hasbro because that's a big braid blocking everything. And it actually works perfectly here. She has pink flowers in her hair. It's beautiful. And the material for the hair, it's kind of a, um, a hard rubber. Yeah, it's like a hard rubber material. Her hands are really cute. They gave her this really nice pose. You can either put her hands behind her back or she could be kind of pointing um, kind of like I told you so, which is what, what this face reminds me of, at least. She does have a lot of articulation. Her hands go up and down. Now, when it comes to her waist, they gave her this core cool articulation for the figurines, for all of them, where she can move forward and backwards, which is really cool, especially for Rapunzel's pose. The skirt is painted very nicely. There you can see her feet. It's really accurate. I think they did an amazing job on these. Of course, her stand is the sun and it's beautiful i love it it's so, so so cute um i do wish that the star was gold only so that it would be different from the hair but that's just me being finding something to say really because everything about this is amazing she's really easy to just pop in there and that's it she looks awesome 
Next up, we have Belle. And she is super, super adorable. As you can see, she's looking off to the side. Her eyes are hazel. And her head actually does have a lot of articulation. There you can see the peg. I'm sure these are easy to pop off, but I wouldn't even dare. You can move her side to side, up and down. Very, very beautiful. You can see her hair sculpted very nicely with her bun, and it's very accurate to the comics. It's like a hard rubber uh, material for the hair. <laughs> she has this really cool mechanism going on, and I'll show you that in a second, but her arms are articulated. They move up and down and to the sides, um, right at the elbows as well, which gives her a very fancy dancing pose. <laughs> now, as far as the skirt goes, you can pretty much move it all around, and she has the same mechanism as Rapunzel, where um, she can move forward and backwards. Lean with it. That's what I'm going to call it. She can lean with it. There you go. <laughs> really cute um <laughs> i love this the dress um, color is also very accurate very well painted as well here's her base which is just a piece of the floor where she dances with beast or at least that's what i'm assuming it is <laughs> it looks like it for sure there you can pose her and she's really easy to just pop right on now I saved my favorite out of the entire set for last. We have Pocahontas here. I think she's adorable. She's the most accurate, the prettiest. I just, I love Pocahontas and they did such a good job with her. You can see her face is painted extremely well. There's no errors here at all. And it's beautiful, a beautiful sculpt. So good job Hasbro on that. The hair is also the molded um, rubber-like material as the other girls. She's just beautiful. She has a lot of articulation going on in the arms. They included her tattoo, which is super important, as any Pocahontas fan would know. Pocahontas. <laughs> her head does have articulation, even though I thought she wouldn't because of the hair, but she's very, very possible. Her body turns all the way around, and it, she also has the lean, lean with it um, <laughs> um, mechanism going on. Right there, you can kind of see she has these little pants. It's super cute. They did such a good job with her. She's beautiful. She also has her stand, which is a rock, which is very fitting. Um, I love it. And it's very easy to also put on. And you can face her either direction, but I think this is the accurate uh, direction for her. But again, you can post her the other way as well, if you like. She's the cutest. Alrighty, my friends, but well, we have reached the end of this review, and I just want to say that I love these figurines. I think it's my new favorite thing from 2018, and I can't wait till they do other princesses because they are so adorable. Again, I highly recommend them, and I hope you find them. They're available at Target. Thank you guys for checking out my video, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye-bye.